my dad and mom were in their probably early 20s. That, that's when the war really kind of erupted and that's when it reached the villages in northern Laos. Um, and then, of course, after the war, um, you know, their families were displaced. And so at that point, we had to make that immigration into um, Thailand where we became refugees. And my parents stayed there for a couple of years, um, waiting for permission to uh, immigrate to the West. And in 1980, that's when both of my parents were able to immigrate with their families to, um, to the United States. And I do feel that the older folks, uh, they are still working on sort of their own meanings of what it means to be an American. And many of them, like for example, my grandparents, they, they would always talk about what it was like in Laos. So there was like an appreciation of that mountain life that they, they don't want to quite let go of, even though we've been in the U.S. for a long time. But at the same time, um, many, many men in Shasta County, young or old, <clears throat> we've adjusted quite well and assimilated. And, and we realized that, you know, we are in a new country and that we're going to do whatever it takes, you know, to, to adjust do what we can to prosper here. So most, most Mian people here in Shasta County are happy.